this show is rated PG TV. Of course. We have the cast of Cabaret. It's very sort of sexual. And so if you got kids at home, when we get the Cabaret stuff on, your choice. Want to watch it or not? But it's not really it's racist. It's just a little more racist than normal. It's not like crazy racist. Right. But it's not like, you know, totally not racist. You'll see no nude people. The thrilling new revival of Cabaret on Broadway has earned numerous awards and 10 Tony nominations. Imagine yourself in Berlin at the height of its decadence in 1929. The setting is the Kit Kat Club. Here to perform Willkommen is Tony-nominated actor Alan Cumming and the cast of Cabaret. <laughs> Welcome, bienvenue, welcome. Fremda, étranger, stranger. Glücklich zu sehen, je suis enchanté. Happy to see you, bleib recht, stay. Welcome, bienvenue, welcome. In cabaret, au oh cabaret, to cabaret. Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, Guten Abend, Bonsoir, Good Evening, Wie geht's, Comment ça va, Do you feel good? Yeah, I bet you do. Ich bin Aya Kaventia, Je suis votre compère, I am your host. Sage, Willkommen, Bienvenue, Welcome, In Cabaret, Au oh, Cabaret, To Cabaret. And now, presenting the Cabaret Girls, Rosie, Lulu, Frenchie, Texas, Fritzi, and Helga, each and every one a virgin. You don't believe me? Well, don't take my word for it. Go ahead, try Helga. I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. It was such a, an amazing night of theater to yes. be able to sit there like you're in the club, have a little wine. Oh, that helps, doesn't it? Doesn't it, yes. We drink, yes. It's nice. You're from Scotland. I am. It's your first musical you've ever done. First ever musical, yeah. First time I've worked on in New York. 
everything's a first. First time on Rosie. Right. So, now, you did this in London, though, didn't you? Did yeah, you I, did it, I did it in London at the Donmar Warehouse with the same director. And then that was about four years ago, and it was kind of a smaller version, but the same sort of, like, feel of it. And now it's kind of fully blossomed. It's great. It's very sort of sexual and adult mm. and raunchy and... Yeah, it was funny doing that today because he sort of toned it down for you. Yeah, a um, lot. But, yeah. Yeah. But it was really... <laughs> it was really hysterical because, like, we weren't allowed to touch bits, you know, yeah. of ourselves. Right, so right. It was like, here and here was allowed, but anyone in between was like, no go area. Well, today we're TVPG. You I never know, know what's going to happen. I feel like Elvis. I'm, like, too hot for daytime television. You are! Don't forget it! <laughs> I know that you extended your run. You were originally going to do six months, and you've extended? Yeah, I'm going to stay till the end of the year. That's wonderful, yeah, really. It's such a nice time. How do you like New York? You like I living? Love it. You do? <clears throat> That's partly why I've decided to stay, because, you know, I mean, I love doing the show and everything, but I've had such a great time in the city, and I've felt so welcomed, and it's just fab. It's such a great place, because you really have to live here. You know what I mean? You can't, uh, you can't sort of... In London, you can sort of pretend you live in the country. Right. But here, you're really in it, and I love it, and I love the food. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite food? Um, um, New York pizza, hot dog on the car? Actually, Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, Alan! I yeah, enjoy yeah. that myself! Oh, fabulous. Do you remember the commercial? No, because I didn't. Come Years ago, this. when you were in Scotland, a wee lass. Yeah. Lad. <laughs> oh, hello. I was a wee lass, I think. I, there was a commercial, I was like, hey, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. You got peanut butter in my chocolate. That was the whole start really? of the Reese's peanut butter cup. I love them. Do you have the bite size? No, yeah, I love those, but you don't get those in Britain. No. That's why I'm so kind of uh, excited about it. Reese's yeah. Pieces as well. I like. Oh, you like the Reese's Pieces too? I prefer the ones in the little cups. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind the pieces. No, that's good. Now, did you get your um, eyebrow ring? Yes. For um, the move for the ch cabaret? Or? No, I got this. I did the Spice Girls. You know the Spice Girls? Yes, I then? do. Yeah. Uh, well, Tell you what I want, what I really, really want, what I really, 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 really want. That's them. Yeah. Uh, well, I did their movie. I was in their movie, and uh, and they're really nice. And they've all got some piercings and tattoos and stuff. And yeah. so one day I was saying, oh, I'd quite like to get one. This is in the makeup bus. And they were really saying, you've got to, you got to get one. So I got this because of them. No kidding, did it hurt? It did kind of hurt, yeah. I kind of had to be held down by this lady. Yeah. Um, but I think it's because I was, I was so tense about it. But yeah. it, was, it wasn't too bad. I mean, just about the same as an earring. Right. But I really got it because of the Spice Girls. And then I did it, I did this film after that, and they let me keep it in. And so I've got... In this film set in 1750, I have an eyebrow ring. Really? <laughs> That's a good research department there. Yeah. That was very popular yeah. during the 1700s. Yeah. Now, are you excited about the Tony Award, sir? I don't want yeah, to, uh, you I'm, know, I'm jinx really... you or say anything, but uh, you're one of the uh, leaders in that category, I'd say. Well, thank you. Will you be nervous? I feel sort of so... I feel really anxious about it because they're so... It's, you're really busy with all sort of thing, you know, it seems to be like every day you get invited to some other Tony-related thing, and... And it's just, um, you know, and then we're doing a song on this show. Well, of course, yes. hello. And, uh, and then the, the, it's quite scary at awards, you know, when you get, when because you have to go up and make a speech if you win. And right. I find that really, um, it's not something I'm particularly uh, cool with. You know, it's, it takes a lot of um, adrenaline and nervy things. And now on, on Sunday uh, at the Drama Desk Awards, I won that. And I, I saw, I went home and I taped the thing, but I taped it with the sound down. Oh. So I couldn't hear what I'd said, but I saw myself, because I get so excited and kind of like nervy, I do this sometimes. <laughs> it's, like, it's like to let it all get out, you know? Right, and, and that's, that's what you did? I, I came up and, and I stood at the podium and went... <laughs> <laughs> and then started to speak. So because the sign was down, it made it more obvious. But So I'm kind of nerv nervous about it, but excited, of course. It's really fantastic to have been nominated. But you know what? what? Once, when I did this in London, I got nominated for an award, and... Um, it was so horrible because there was another man called Alan nominated in the same thing, right? And he won. And so but on the telly, you see it, and, they go, and the winner is Alan. And I went, oh, Armstrong. No, oh. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair, is it? I know, it's terrible. And I should have realized, but luckily there's no other Alan in my category. So right, so if you I... hear your name, honey, it's yeah, definitely you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're on June 7th on CBS. I can't wait. If you haven't seen the show yet, uh, go get tickets. They're hard to come by, but let me tell you, they are worth the wait. Uh, Cabaret, uh, you're fabulous in it. Thank you and very much. And I look forward much, to really. seeing you perform on the Tonys. Thanks. Alan Cunningham.